All right, getting a lot of texts from people that are uh, sympathizing with me and the old, the elderly people, and it's illegal, of course, to make some of these folks have to walk and do those types of things. So pretty bad, pretty it's terrible, bad. right, buddy? Yeah, that is nasty. Now, you're actually mad about it. Well, when you think about it, it, I mean, it's not right. Again, something like you, no big deal. But right, thanks. <laughs> but uh, an elderly person, it's, it's it ain't right. It's life changing. So I got to send a shout out. So yesterday, Bernie, I went for lunch with Danielle. Landmark restaurant, very nice. That's at the uh, shops at uh, Columbus Circle. Yeah. And then I left her. She went back to the office, which of course is right by your store, Joseph. That's right. And I started walking towards your store, mm-hmm. where I got that beautiful spring jacket. We will tweet a picture coming up after the segment. And Bernie, I'm walking by a restaurant called Oceana, which is down the block from Del Frisco's. You know it. Very well. There's a guy standing outside. His name is Jimmy Rogers. And he stops me. He goes, Sid. I go, hey. He drives Hank, who's the CEO of Madison Square Garden. He's Jim Dolan's right-hand man. He's Hank's driver. Drives him everywhere. Really? Hank's inside the restaurant. Poor Jimmy's standing outside, freezing his ass off. <laughs> He's doing his job. Standing outside of the uh, Sirius XM building. Right, doing his job. Took a picture on the street with me. And he's a huge Bernie and Sid fan, huge. So, hello to Jimmy Rogers. And then with that said, I got to the store. But Joseph Bernie wasn't there yesterday Mm -hmm. because he was at Fenway Park in Boston. Opening day. That's right. Watching the Red Sox for now the ninth time in 12 (laughs) tries this year. Get their asses kicked. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's put it this way. The ceremonies were great. The ring ceremony was terrific. But the game was uh, a lot to look for. Well, what's going on with that? Three I don't know. I, I mean, is it a hangover from last year? I don't know. But um, it's such a great park. You know, I think everybody kind of forgives after winning last year. But if you remember 2012, they came in last. Right. They won in 2013. True. And they finished last in 2014. That's true. So I hope this is not a pattern. You know, well, look, just, if, and by the way, Julian Edelman threw out the first pitch. So yeah, they had a uh, number ceremonial. of Patriots there. Yeah, yeah, they had Gronk, who... As you know, retired. So it was. It's just a fun day to be there. But it was cold as hell. You know, it's, yeah, it's cold typical, here. It's a typical April day, and oh, it was yeah, crazy. it was a gloomy day. It was a gloomy day all around. Including did you get a ring? Did they give you? a no, ring? No, I don't no. get a ring. I just yeah. get to enjoy it. Did other guys like David Ortiz or Yastrzemski, some of the old Red Sox, or- Ortiz show up? was there? Yeah, yeah, you know, they had Manny Ramirez was there. Oh, cool! It was pretty cool. It was well, a cool. Ben day. Affleck but, there. I didn't see Matt him. Matt Damon. I didn't Pe- see Pedro. him. Pedro. Pedro was there. Pedro. Uh, oh, he was Pedro's going to yeah. be everywhere. Pedro was there and, you know, carrying the trophy. So, yeah, it was a fun day. Cool. And I'm glad. And I'm back. Now it's back to reality and, you know, work for a living. That's right. So one of the Hate things we, So one of the things we were talking about, you know, I've been listening to some of the, you know, your pre-show, you know, your before the show comes on, and some of the callers from yesterday because I wasn't listening. But, you know, you've got people saying, well, you should do this, you should do that. And, well, we called it Ask the Program Director segment. Sans <laughs> the Program Director. Right. But I think that's great to listen to folks, but... I've always been weary of critics, you know. I've always, I think Leonard Bernstein said he's traveled the world and he's never seen a statue of a critic. Mm. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> a, like it's really true. It's very interesting. And in my career, you know, people have said, oh, you should do this, you should do that. But uh, to thine own self be true. So I even remember there was, a, there was an, uh, a review, I think it was one of the notable publications that said, Joseph Abood makes beautiful clothing, well-tailored, but... But what? And then, it, well, that's exactly right. But he was doing light colors versus people doing dark colors. So you really have to be focused on who you are. Just well, do your thing. Place. Right. Know your place right. in the universe. You but guys well, know your place in that's, the universe. That's my struggle, though, because I could be a dick. I'm the first to admit it. Fine. But I always say this. If you knew how to do this job and you were as good at this job as Bernie and I are, you'd you be doing do this job. That's right. exactly so right. So when you're sitting out there telling Bernie and I, what well, we, sh- but then again, I struggle with, I do want the listeners to be able to voice what they like and don't like. Yeah. But in the end, it's always that first guy that wins. The devil always wins. We're doing this job because we know what we're doing. Right, and you have to know where your North Star is. But you have to know that. You, and I love to hear, you know, could you do more of this? Could you do more of that? And then you kind of filter that. And you go, you know what? That's pretty cool. But if you're defined by other people, then you will never know who you no, guys are. No, no, no. And, and said about, uh, let's face it, as your psychotherapist, you're kind of look, <laughs> looking is. for some approbation. Let's face it. When, when you so- solicit these callers. That's what we're looking for. It's uh, not to really for direction. It's for, hey, you guys are great. Keep this up. Keep that up. You're probably right. I mean, because when they do uh, uh, critique you and you don't like it, 
I mean, you turn beet red, you well, start you screaming know, at the poor... Well, but I didn't yesterday. A couple of people called about the sports. I maintain my call. Yeah. I mean, I did point out they're wrong. They're factually incorrect. But I, I mean, but you're right, Bernie. I mean, and 90% of the people that called us yesterday did say, don't change a thing. Well, that's right. right. If you listen to the calls, I mean... I love pizza, but I don't want to eat pizza every day of my life. Right. So you need variety. I think you need the range. I think it's great that you guys go to, to different places, and it's fun when you do movies, and it's great. And sports is part of a lifestyle. Well, let me go there with you. I mean, the bottom line is you were advertising with Boomer and, and Craig. Right. And Boomer and Gio and WFAN. Right. And you love sports. Right. Okay? If I said to you today, we're not doing any sports on this show anymore, you'd pull your money out, wouldn't you? I, let's say I would be unhappy about it. Right. I really would be unhappy because I like lifestyle. I like a show where you can go from sports to Netanyahu. I love to, that. That's, to that's, books. That's, to books. That's a range. And real talent has range because you can't predict what you're – some, you know, we know there are lots of shows, a lot of political shows that drone on. It's the same message day after day after day. It's exhausting. And as a, as a listener, I don't want to hear it. I want to know that you're going to go someplace completely different that I didn't expect in the next five minutes. Right. That's, what, that's the magic of the show is yeah. that you can go from Netanyahu – to hockey. Which we did today. I love that. Mm -hmm. We did that. You know, and as an advertiser, I say, you know what? There's a range, and your listeners, and we all have opinions, right? More sports, less sports, more entertainment. I used to love the entertainment report. I thought it was great. I want to know about it. I want to know what's happening in movies. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's happening in sports. So that's why I tune into the show. And I right. think that's important. Well, speaking of books, Joseph, last week he brought in this book for me, In the Garden of Beasts. Yeah, and I'm uh, almost a third of the way through it, and it is terrific. We ha have that in common. We love history. Right. We love reading, and so that's our range. That's part of our range. Eric Larson in the Garden of Beasts about um, uh, Germany, 1933, and Amazing. the the ambassador and his family. Fantastic read, and, and it reads like a novel, but it's not exactly. It's, yeah, it's, 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 and it's we said last week, you know, you're doomed to repeat history if you don't know it. So it's really great, and especially with the, the rise of anti-Semitism. You know, I, those things worry me. They concern me. You know, I'm in the fashion business, so we're inclusionary. But those kinds of things, you know, they really strike at the soul of anybody who exactly has a right. conscience. Exactly really, right. So important. you talk about the fashion business, and yep. you're, you're back. I know today you're in your showroom here by 7th yep. Avenue. Yep. You're not at the beautiful store Madison right. Avenue. But um, I was in yesterday to get a new spring coat because right. I've got a beautiful, long Joseph Aboud fall uh, coat. You have fall a fall coat. And a winter coat. Right. Um, um, and I'm always curious to know, like, when do we start to see the spring stuff? Like, I did notice now a lot of your jackets. Mm -hmm. I got one last week. Right. They are for the spring, right. not for the winter. That's right. When do you start to make that transition? Generally around February 1. Even though there's snow on the ground, you generally get your spring goods in early. So, so do you recommend that people buy stuff for the next season early? I or think, you better waiting to get closer to that season? No, if you wait closer to the season, you might not find your size. Bingo. So any fashion guy yep. or someone who likes style needs to get in early and do it. And, you know, we try to transition the store. And I'm designing fall 2020. Right? Already? I'm, I'm, yeah, because that's spring. The, the, the jacket you bought is in my rearview mirror. Gotcha. I designed that 18 months ago. So it's really interesting how far forward I have to be able to kind of project in terms of design, product style. But, um, you know, I love it. I love the business. No, if you go really looking cool. for uh, winter clothes, say, in November, I mean, they're out. All the good stuff is gone. Generally, that's right. you got to go Sizes in. Sizes are gone. August, September. That's right. And uh, if you're if it's someone who really likes style, get in early and look at it early. You know, doing a custom suit early so you get it for the season. Don't wait until it's cold out there. Do it before that happens. Those mannequins that you guys dress in the windows, they're, they're so good looking. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think women want to buy them. And they're fake. <laughs> they're mannequins. Well, the it's styling, done so well. The styling's great. But it's interesting that most guys, it doesn't matter how how smart they are. They look at an outfit on a mannequin. They'll go, I'll take the jacket. I'll take the suit. I'll take the shirt. Right. So it's really important. And, the, and those windows have won uh, awards for the best windows. And the good the news about those windows is, Corey Zelnick, they had these, um, you know, the scaffolding, Bernie. Up in front of those beautiful windows. They, they did. They, was they it, did. It's gone now? Gone. Beautiful. Thank God. I got to get you, up Corey. there and take a look. So you Thank can you. walk down 49th Street as you're approaching <laughs> Madison from 5th, and you see right. these gorgeous yeah. windows. Gorgeous. They're, they're, they're terrific. Well, I love that you come in. We love having you in the oh, store. Phil's we just great, have to drag Shelley. Bernie back up there yeah. and I'm get make, ready for some spring now, clothes. Now, now that the uh, scaffolding is down. <laughs> now you'll, I mean, show up that now you'll come up. It was too obnoxious for me. Well, let me leave you with this message. Just keep being who you are because you guys are magnificent what you do. Oh, and don't change. Thank, thank you, you wow. Joseph Abood. How about from you? That's a, that's
That's an amazing that testimonial. So nice. Thank you. We love that you. Love you guys. And uh, the Red Sox will win the next five straight. I promise you that. That's uh, Joseph Abood. Great each and every week. We'll take a short break when we get back. Hockey playoffs back on Long Island. Plus the latest with Donald Trump. The great Denny Potvan. Hall of Fame New York Islanders right after these words. <laughs> 